Hi, brothers. So we're going to read um, 1 John. But um, this morning, God has given us a really wonderful um, understanding. And um, so it might just settle the argument about whether, you know, uh, Jesus and God. Um, I'm going to call this video uh, The Two Witnesses. And remember, Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Well, Jesus is known as the showbread, right? He is the bread of life, the house of bread. He was born in Bethlehem, which means um, house of bread. I, I believe I can I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've been there. Um, and uh, so uh, the... He also, at the well, he said, you know, drink of my cup and you'll have everlasting life. And he had a cup of everlasting life, which was the living waters. He also had said that his ministers are a flame of fire in the word of God. So um, ministering spirits are, are flames of fire. And he says that we become anointed with oil and that he has fire in his eyes. But the main thing is the whole point of his ministry, which was God showing you the mystery of godliness, that God is godly and good. And um, he, the main point of the whole thing was that he was listening to the Father. And he said, the words I speak are not my own, but the Father who sent me. And the words that he spoke were life-giving. And the words that he said saves people and gives life. Because in the original Adam that and Eve, uh, we all die. But in Jesus Christ, we have life and life more abundantly. In Christ, the Noah found life in Abraham. Noah, Abraham found life by their faith, by seeking God, um, and they found life. They found Christ. Um, they didn't have the resurrection, resurrected body yet or the blood for the remission of their sins yet, so they had to wait in Abraham's bosom when they died. But they all believed God. And I believe God when, I, when he says there's two witnesses. And I think I know who these two witnesses are. The Father, who testifies that life is in his Son, and the Son, who testifies that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That everlasting life is the cup that Jesus had. He said, drink of my cup, and you'll have everlasting life. So this video is before we read First John. There's a couple other things that he showed me, um, and I will do another video here pretty soon to, to discuss those things that he showed me. But if you have a father and a son, the son can become like the father when the, father, when the son listens to the father. If the son doesn't listen to the father and obey, he's not like his father, obviously. But if he listens to his father and he obeys his father, he becomes like his father. But he is not his father. This is a key thing. The father and the son are both God. The father and the son sit, the son sits at the